The mighty bastion of the military orders stood alone in the desert, surrounded on all sides by darkness. The few knights who still remained held firm to a faint hope for victory. of God. The time of reckoning is now. I must decide on a strategy that will deliver us from evil. My lady, all is lost. The combined army receive reinforcements with every passing hour. We cannot hope to defeat a foe as overpowered as they are. Let us evacuate the fortress through the secret tunnels below the desert. Have faith, Sir Thomas. Though the enemy is vast, let us use the word of God as our shield. Remember Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I the give Lord be praised, Lady Marie, but do not forget that the combined army's troops are under-costed beyond all mortal reckoning, while our fire teams remain limited and expensive. It would be foolish to meet them in battle. Be that as it may, I see that we strike before they have the chance to gather their forces in full. What say you, Lady Joan? Both of you are my best advisors in the field. Prepare to defend the walls and gates. We must survey the battle before a final choice is made. forces crashing against the castle from above and below they threw themselves against the main gate with no concern for the relentless firepower of the night they sent creatures to crawl and swarm over the walls like insects and flying terrors to swoop upon the parapets She had to choose between a slow defeat or a swift and perhaps foolish death. Her soldiers looked to her for leadership, and in the name of her order, she gave the command to attack. Knights of the military orders! This enemy is beyond anything we have witnessed in history. 
I cannot ask you to understand their vile strategies, nor can I ask you to face them without the fear of death in your hearts. But I must ask you this. Will you stand with me as we honor our sacred oaths as knights? Be aux armées de la sphère humaine <laughs> 